My name's uh, Amit Patel. I'm the Director of Business Relationship Management and FinOps uh, at Disney, and I support the Disney Entertainment and ESPN Technology Group. So uh, streaming, broadcast, all the media businesses. So it started about a year and a half ago, uh, focused on cloud, um, and then it's expanded to all consumption-based spend now. So think of your data platforms, your observability tools, uh, things like that. And then in addition, we've added the scope of like data center, on-prem, um, those types of things, networking, those types of things, right? When you're thinking data center, you're thinking hardware. So when do I need to refresh the hardware? Uh, when do I uh, have a, a renewal for a data center space coming up? So if I need to migrate off or add space, I need to think about the timing of those types of things and those contracts and those types of things like that. Uh, power, utilization. Um, so a little bit different, but just very similar, right? All consumption based. But the inputs are different, concepts are the same. I think what's happened is as we've gotten better, the request for information has gotten more granular. There's a lot of software, SaaS tools that you know a lot of companies use like Disney that are consumption based as well. And people want to know the granularity of how they're spending, where they're spending, which teams are spending, and then uh, allocating those costs to the right places. It's becoming a huge thing, honestly, because because as data continues to grow, it's it's just piling on existing data and it's just getting up and up as so like as a Disney streaming uh, group, right? So we have product launches, new features, new personalization, all those types of things. It's just more and more breadcrumbs of user behavior that teams want that access to that data, right? To help curate a better experience for the consumer. And it's just growing, it's just going up. It's beyond just cloud. What a lot of people hope to see is that as if you're migrating, your cloud costs go up, you wanna see data center costs go down and it's not instantaneous right, because of the fixed nature of data center. So it, there, there is an education standpoint of like, well, if we're gonna move this, then this should get cheaper. And eventually, maybe, but uh, not off the bat, right? For the things we discussed earlier, right? Like the hardware is there. You've already purchased it. It's capitalizable, of course, but it's still there, uh, even if you migrate stuff off of it. And then you have your data center leases that you're, you're paying for as well, unless you own the location, right? You still have the building. Um, so it's, it's educating people on like, yes, let's migrate in the next, year and a half, then we can give some space back. We can save some money here, we can do this, but it's not an instantaneous thing. And a lot of times it's like dual cost because you'll still keep it in the data center and you'll have to do parallel in, in the cloud to make sure it's running okay. And then uh, that's also kind of a, a, a surprise to a lot of the finance folks. How we're looking at the data center side is like more application driven in the sense of what are my applications? Where are they? How much do they cost? And what are good candidates to either stay or move, right? Like the fixed, uh, capacity utilization stuff, probably good candidates for data center. If there's things that are fluctuating, and you're not maximizing the utilization on the server, then maybe that's good for cloud. Um, so that's kind of like the balancing act that, that everyone wants to do. And the data center business is also hard. Um, it's, it's not easy. There's labor components, there's, you know, something goes down, you got to have people on site, right? Which versus cloud, there's a lot of redundancy and those types of things. So, um, it's a little bit of a two edge coin there. Hey everyone, producer Andrew here. I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoy sharing all of these amazing FinOps stories, best practices, and expertise. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, click the notification bell, and leave comments and questions for our speakers. Check out more FinOps content on our YouTube channel. We appreciate the support.